So let's look at an example of computing the mass using line integrals. So we have the following example, which is a wire is in the shape of a circle of radius two, centered at the origin, let's say, and has density function rho, which is two plus one half X. We wanna find the mass of the wire. Now, of course, the mass is given by the line integral over the curve C of the density function. And so we first have to parameterize the wire. And we'll do that by using the function alpha t, which is two sine t in the x component and two cosine t in the y component. And we'll vary t from minus pi to pi. Now, with respect to this parameterization, we see that rho is just two plus sine t. In particular, the line integral over the curve C of rho of x, y, d, s is just the integral from minus pi to pi of two plus sine t. That's just rho with respect to the parameterization. And then the arc length term is just the square root of four cosine squared t plus four sine squared t dt. The Pythagorean identity, of course, tells us that cosine squared plus sine squared t is one. So we're left with the integral from minus pi to pi of two times two plus sine t dt, which is just two times two t minus cosine t from minus pi to pi. And this expands to two times two pi minus cosine of pi minus two times minus pi plus cosine of minus pi. Of course, since cosine of pi is minus one and cosine of minus pi is also minus one, what we're left with is two times two pi plus one plus two pi minus one, and this is just eight pi. <laughs>